Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Camilla Vasquez. Vasquez. Vasquez? Vasquez. I know, it's not sounding like <laughs> It's not sounding right when I said it, but let's see what her purpose here is on Earth from the Divine. What is her purpose from the Divine that she is meant to do on this Earth? Oracle cards might be in her future. You are able to discern answers and guidance from for yourself and others through Oracle cards. Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Builder. Your innate ability, your innate build ability to build and create brings you deep sense of accomplishment. So she might... Um, have a way of oh, I love it of uh, building and then she is also has spiritual gifts of healing and the desire to share it with others she is a healer so she could build a practice here um, doing oracle cards and being a healer towards others I like it she might do that as a side thing. Mind you, she's pretty busy as a lawyer, but when she gives that up, maybe, who knows, maybe it'll be something she gets into later on. Let's have a look and see. Maybe when she wakes up, if she's not awakened already. Yeah, adjudication, she's, <laughs> she's doing that. Uh, it's kind of funny, she's in that atmosphere. Alright, let's see what comes in for Camilla for the near future. For the near future for Camilla Vasquez. Community. I kind of feel like her community uh, knows quite well about her after the Johnny Depp um, court case with Amber Heard. Somebody here might be in bad health from her community. Someone in her her life. Let's see. In the distant horizon. Let's see what's coming in. There might be a gift of marriage. Possibly if she isn't already married. Possibly um a marriage offer or want someone wanting to get married. Um, if she already is married, it could be to say the vows again. Maybe go on vacation or something to renew some vows. Let's get to her energy here. Can I get some cards for Camilla? For her energy. The Well Watcher. Mm -mm. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. I don't know if I've seen this one yet either. Let's take that one. Let's see, what do we have? The Ringmaster of Scrutiny. Discernment, clear vision, and details. And I feel that is right up her alley when it comes to her work or career that she is already in right now. Let's see, what was the Well Watcher? Wisdom, power of the divine. Wow, so when she does awaken, if she hasn't already, she's going to definitely have wisdom and the power of the divine to be building that practice of her oracle, oracle card or healing business. And maybe she does that online. The winged wise one, angelic help and miraculous aid. And I feel like she will be very connected to her angel spirits and even the divine. The High Lady of Love and Compassion. And I kind of feel that with her, I feel like she has that dark side and light, but she has a good balance between the two. The High Lady of Love and Compassion. Reverence, kindness, and consideration. And I, you kind of saw that with the trial that she um, 
got so much recognition from. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, and Conscious Action. And I kind of feel like she would be a perfect candidate to do just the healing, the building, the practice of the oracle cards because of her demeanor, her personality. She's got the light and the dark and it's balanced quite well. She can be very straightforward and I wouldn't say mean, but she gets her point across in uh, tough situations and she's able to hold her own. And on the other side, she was showed a very compassionate, loving, kind person, almost angelic when it came to her other part of her side that she holds. And it's funny that you got to see both sides of her in that trial. Let's see. Let's do some oracle cards and see what comes in for us her love life. Now, the cards haven't been really cooperating with me when it comes to these readings of somebody and their love. And it's like, well, where's the love happening? It's about other people that's like, some of the readings are about other people that are coming in, problems they're causing for other family members. And it's never really been a cut dry kind of reading of this person and love coming in. It's about everything but love, it seems, today. And I'm hoping that something's going to show up for Camilla that's going to say something different than what I've been getting so far. <laughs> See secrets. Ah! It could be something unexpected, but when the world's here, it's something that wraps up. So let's just see what we get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need one more card, please, Spirit. Can I get one more card for Camilla? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm not even liking it. There are no cups here. Just a lot of secrets, shady ass behavior, and an ending with some truth. It looks like marriage is coming in, maybe even spirituality. Somebody is poo pooing it or not liking uh, this direction that she's heading in. It could be that she's awakening and going to God and doing spirituality. Maybe her person doesn't like that. Or it could be that this is some getting married to her could be another reason of why they're doing it. They are stabbing her in the back. Now this could be jealous people that are in her environment that don't want to see her happy getting married to someone. They could be telling secrets or bullshit um, about this passionate new beginning with this marriage coming out and trying to say there's some truths here and forcing an ending here, saying maybe that there's some juggling here. Now, whether that's a lie or not, we're going to have to find out. And it's like, <laughs> can't we just show some love here? Like, really? <laughs> you know? Like, I would really like to see a love reading in the love readings that I'm meant to be doing here. And there's no love showing up. Not a cup. Not a cup at all. And it's just like, what is this? What's the Eight of Wands? Okay. So, this is somebody that has money that is making a judgment call. And I kind of feel like that might be Camilla. And it might have to do with this marriage card or spirituality, whatever it ends up being. All right, let's see. 
Mm. Yikes. This marriage, she may not want to get married. Um, she's tempted to do it, but decides, no, I'm not getting married. She might have reasons why she doesn't want to. Possibly she was married in the past. No cup still. What's this Five of Swords? Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, somebody wants to stab her in the back because of this new beginning that she has. What is the Fool and the Five of Swords? Having a different perspective. Not being rushed. Maybe that's it. Not being rushed into something that she wants to think about. She might be manifesting her own world that she wants. There's an offer here. What is the moon then? Is it something unexpected? Mm. It's not having all the information and trying to make a decision when there might be some secrets here. What's the two of swords and the moon? What is that? Yeah, somebody has regret. Something's happened here. Let's see, ace of wands, the empress. I kind of feel like she might have bossed up because she saw that this was something that was kind of toxic possibly. Maybe she saw a different side to this person when it came to the money aspect of it. Seeing a different perspective of this person. Having the strength not to fall for some trick here with this offer yeah when somebody's when when there is a crossroads and you can't decide what you want to do because the moon is here and somebody's regretting something then you know it can't be good right ace of wands and the empress yeah, the wheel's turning in her favor when it comes to love. What is the truth here? What is the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? Anything else? Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Okay. She just wants to be happy. Um, she's just looking for that last cup. She's good all on her own. Self-sufficient. Wants the truth. There might be some news coming in here where she has to do some healing from it. There's conflict and chaos and maybe even competition. And she's the earth angel. I knew she was like angelic. I kind of felt that. She might even have an earth sign. She might even be an earth sign or an air sign here. We finally got cups and it's nine cups and it's about either being someone's being selfish and not telling what they know when it comes to some type of competition with this earth angel. What is the death here? Is this a friend maybe coming in and getting in the way? What is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Somebody's looking at their future. King of Wands is here. Somebody very good looking. Hierophant, the devil, right. We haven't actually seen any other person in here except for this king of wands that's looking at the future and an ending here. 
because of juggling. Maybe there was a third party here. What is the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, there might have been another love cup. A cup of love to someone else. Ah, and there's justice because this was a divine, di divinely guided. And somebody messed up here. They're getting karma because of it. Why is the justice, Ace of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, it has to do with love. A union. Yeah, and it's it's a wrap up. It's it's over. The whole thing is finished. It's that cycle is ending. Yeah, there was a victory for her. There's some healing to do. Somebody's gonna try to fight to come back to get it, and spirit's going to call judgment on this. It's too much of a burden for the empress. She's just gonna work. She's in her head a bit. She doesn't want to be stuck by anyone. Somebody's trying to hold on to her. And justice is being called again on this person because they're shady. She's just moving forward and she's going to be single. Looks like. Set a crossroads though. But she's using her intuition and she's ended that cycle. And we've already seen that right here. So... She might be coming available. We'll see. Something she's going to find out soon enough. In the next little while. Hopefully she doesn't get married to this person. Whoever is causing trouble here. And it might come at a bad timing when somebody in her family is in bad health that wants to give her a gift, maybe of inheritance or something like that. And that could be the whole reason behind the marriage card here. Wow. I guess she could be, um, awakened to spirituality and her person may not want to go down that road with her and she's been called to walk away from them because it's not something that aligns with her path but in any case there's secrets here something was done behind her back Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. We'll put a part two to this, <laughs> like all the rest, because there isn't any cops here except for till the end, and that is when she learns of this betrayal, right, and walks away from this person, puts an end to this, and the future with this person. Whether it's a friend or a love, um, it looks like it was love with justice and a union. And the world card. So, in any case, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> And we'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you later. <laughs>